The difference between a job and a fulfilling, financially rewarding career is not just talent or luck. It's meticulous planning combined with consistent execution. Today, we are going to discuss your career plan across four pivotal dimensions. Laying the foundations, honing your skill, building your personal brand, and planning for long-term prosperity. Let's get into it. Education serves as a gateway to enter the professional world, acting as an initial filter used by potential employers to screen their candidates. While academic credentials might catch your foot in the door, they do not necessarily mold you into a skilled professional. It's practical experience that provides you that edge that you need to be successful in any profession. As the saying goes, experience is king. As you're planning for your career, consider location as one of the biggest influencing factors that will have a long-term impact on your earning potential. Professor Scott Galloway has this saying, find the biggest pile of money and try to stand as close to it as possible. Major cities are often hub for lucrative opportunities. Similarly, the different industries offer different perspectives. For example, if you are in tech industry, Silicon Valley is the number one place to go. In Europe, it's Berlin and London that offer the most opportunities in the startup scene. And if you are in banking or financial services, then London or New York would be the best places for you to develop and grow as a professional. Your choice of the city should align with your long-term goals and your skill set. If you're at the start of your career, gaining experience and knowledge should be your top priority. It does not matter if you fail. What matters is what lessons can you learn. So the first three years could be allocated to gaining experience from internships and jobs. A startup would really provide you ample opportunities to learn about product development, trend analysis, and how to fail. Focus on building and improving skills such as communication, presentation, problem solving, and project management. These skills will help you throughout the trajectory of your career. Goals work best when they are specific and based on research. Conduct market assessment to find out your worth. Which skills do you need to improve yourself? Set up quarterly milestones to track back progress. Regularly review your performance against the milestone. Quarterly milestones are a really good way to track your performance, keep you focused, and adopt your strategy as you move on. The world is changing at a breakneck speed. We witness this every day. Focus on continuous development and learning. The skills that you have today might not be valuable tomorrow at all. So continuously look for areas where you can improve. Push yourself out of the comfort zone. Learn new skills at a regular basis. Continuous learning could be learning a new language, doing new courses, certifications, such as digital marketing, digital content creation, and so on. An often overlooked aspect of career planning is the work-life balance and mental fitness. Remember, only the healthy mind is a productive mind. Work-life balance improves your mental fitness, and that in turn improves your productivity and the quality of work. So before joining a new company or taking a new direction in your career, find out for yourself if they are offering the perfect or the right kind of work-life balance or not. Because in the long term, it's not good for your mental health to have continuous stress and not really good social relationships at work. In the age of internet, personal branding has become more crucial than ever. Regularly update your professional portfolio. Develop a strategy to regularly contribute to the ongoing discussions. Writing articles or blog posts would not only increase your digital footprint, but will also force you to think and have clarity around your ideas. Your online presence can often act as an extended resume and could also potentially attract job offers. Building your own network is the key to unlocking future potential. Networking just aren't only means meeting people. It means paying attention to what they are saying, regularly exchanging information with them, communicating in a proper way, following up on your promises. 
Use every opportunity to join any conference, workshop, industry publication, engage on social media, contribute in a way that is meaningful. Networking just not open new doors for you. It also introduces you to new opportunities that you might have missed. It can also provide a safety net in uncertain times. Change is the only constant in life and your ability to adopt will largely determine your success in the shifting market landscape. Whether it's pivoting into a new role, acquiring new technology or entering a new industry, adoptability is the only way to ensure that your skills are never obsolete. Earning a substantial income is one side of the financial coin. The other is smart financial planning and investment. While focusing on your career, also educate yourself on personal finances. Learn about tax-saving instruments, retirement planning, and investments into different areas such as real estate, bonds, and equity to diversify your source of income. No job is 100% secure. In fact, depending on one source of income is actually highly risky. So regularly updating your skill set, building your personal network, and having financial security will help you weather any storm in case of sudden industry downturns or potential unemployment. Every year, conduct a thorough and comprehensive review of your professional standing. Have you acquired the skills that are needed for this job? Are you satisfied with the work environment and your colleagues? Is it really rewarding and fulfilling? You must find answers to all these questions and set new goals. Also, figure out what do you need to do, which gaps do you need to fill in order to grow in your current role. If you like to earn more money and want to negotiate with your manager, you have to bring in really good performance. In most cases, the one single factor which has the biggest influence in deciding for a promotion case is actually the impact of your performance on the revenue. That could be winning new accounts or projects or creating new services or products to increase the revenue. Regular check-ins with your manager not only ensure that they are updated on your progress but it also provides them an opportunity to provide feedback and ad adjust your strategy accordingly. Make a thorough case for negotiating your salary increase with your manager, highlighting your achievements and the targets that you set for yourself. Before you sit down with your manager for that critical meeting to decide on salary increase or your promotion, make sure that you have supporting evidence also from the colleagues that work with you, ideally from someone senior. Keep your arguments simple and comprehensive. You can create one slide where you can list out all of your achievements periodically. Emotional neutrality is very important. Listen patiently to the feedback and what they have to say. If you are successful, celebrate. If not, then request for detailed feedback to find out the reasons and then work on them. Switching companies often offer greater financial incentives compared to internal promotions. Keep a look on the job market, prepare yourself for a new position and if required, go for it. As you work toward financial freedom, Keep in mind, what is your exit strategy? What is your end game? Is this early retirement, transitioning into consulting, or starting a new business? Having a goal will not only guide your choices, but will also provide you the metric to measure your success. The journey towards a fulfilling and a financially rewarding career is multifaceted, involving strategic planning, execution, and the ability to continuously grow and adopt. Incorporating these additional aspects to your career blueprint will not only add layers to your plan, but also depth to your experience. The key is to remain proactive and not reactive, making informed decisions based on your long-term vision. With this extended blueprint, you're not only surviving the professional world, you're thriving in it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please click on that like button and share with your friends if you find value in this. And I will see you soon. Bye.